Hello, so it's been nearly three months since I upgraded this TV to the LG BX 55 inch 4K Smart OLED HD HDR TV. And in that three months, has my thoughts changed from what was initially an awesome TV? Let's find out. So if you haven't seen my um, unboxing of this video, then check that out from the link up here somewhere because basically at time of filming this video it has around 22,000 views. 22,000. Does that mean it's gone viral? I don't know. Let me know in the comments box below. First of all I feel I should address a few of the questions I've been having on this TV and uh, normally I wouldn't bother making an entire video about it and just answer them in the comments but seeing as this video is doing very well and they were pretty good questions all on point and they were asked politely. Here goes, a little, uh, a little Q and A video, shall we? You're right, Foxhound Shady 2. I incorrectly stated that uh, this was the 55CX, when in fact it is the 55BX. The difference being this has the A7 processor, whereas the CX has the A9 processor. Although this A7 is fast, it's fast enough for me. It does have 120 hertz refresh rate, along with two times HDMI 2.1 ports and two times HDMI 2.0 ports on the back and a HDMI 3.0 eARC port on the side. So it will work when gaming with the latest consoles, such as your, your Xbox or your PS5, if those are the latest consoles, because I'm not a gamer. I don't know. Go, Janet, go, go, go. Thanks for your question. Yes, uh, the built-in apps such as Netflix and Prime are the latest 4K versions. So that means you can stream 4K content directly to the TV without the need of any other additional media boxes. I, however, choose to use the Apple TV 4K as that's just what I like to use and it's, and it's where all my content is. So yeah, thanks for your question. This changing light is it's really putting me off. Hello, next question from Kevin. Hello, Kevin. Uh, the HDMI cable I use is this one. And uh, the reason I chose this is because it was recommended to me by a friend. And if you're spending a lot of money on a TV, you want to make sure your HDMI cable is up to scratch, don't you? When wall mounting, it's not possible to get it flush to the wall, I'm afraid, because there's there's a bar at the back at the bottom which contains all the gubbins, which, which sticks out a few inches. So if you do want to fit it flush to the wall, you're going to have to cut into the wall and make a little recess, I'm afraid. Unfortunately, it's not Apple HomeKit compatible, Mr. Android Martian. David, my man. Yes, the optical output does support Dolby pass-through. To remove the uh, non-programmed message from the screensaver or the gallery, you just have to do this. So you need to head over to your settings menu and then the three little dots for all of your settings. Come down all the way to the bottom to general and then you're gonna click on the bottom additional settings and then in there there's the option that states no signal image and you can toggle this on and off. The no signal image is basically what it says, it can't find an input. And telling yourself, get rid of it, enjoy. The, uh, the bar I have going around the TV, the light is the Philips Hue gradient bar. More info can be found on that in this video up here where I talk about all of my lights and how I set them up. So that's the bulk of the uh, the main questions repeating. So let's get onto the nitty gritty of this video and what I really think about this TV three months down the line. So let's start with what I don't like about this TV. Honestly, hand on heart, not the microphone. I haven't found anything that I don't like about this TV. And the only thing that I would change if I could go back in time would be, would be, would be, would be. I would have got the bigger 65 inch version like I originally planned and screw it if it looked odd, it would have been amazing. I should have gone with the 65 inch version, I should have listened to my heart, not the brain when making that decision. Your TV when I bought it was 1,098 pounds, but now sadly, it's a lot more expensive. It's now 1,000, and 99 pounds, that's it, that's right. It's gone up a whole pound, one pound more expensive. And this isn't by any means a cheap TV at all, but just look at the specs. I mean, look at them, look at them, look at all of those yeses. Now, what's the uh, the 2.2 channel downward facing speakers that shoot the audio downwards in the TV are pretty good. I decided to add an LG soundbar set. You can see about that up here, because guess what? I made another video about it. 
because the inbuilt speakers, as good as they are, they can't come anywhere near close to the quality of a soundbar. And I mean, how could they really? There's literally no space back there for anything. The, uh, the TV has done around two or three firmware updates in the last three months. Um, and normally when you get an update in the TV software, sometimes you'll get issues and niggles with things not working, but I haven't experienced any of those. The TV has worked perfectly fine, except when I have HueSync. Now it's been okay while HueSync has been on and syncing the color of the lights with the picture whilst filming this, but randomly a couple of times, the whole picture has just vanished. Everything seems like it's gone off and then it just comes back again straight after. Now, I know that's the Hue Sync box because I don't have that when I'm not running Hue Sync. So the TV is perfectly fine. So I believe that's gonna be an issue with the Hue Sync box, which I need to investigate further. Uh, probably again, just needs a firmware update, but I will come back to you on that because I plan on making a Philips Hue Sync Bar three month later video as well. Why not leech on as much content as I can, especially as those videos seem to be doing quite well at the minute. Just look at it. Just look at that beauty. Oh, olives. Yum. So there you have it. Not really a long video now, mainly because I've got nothing to say. I still love it. It's still an awesome TV. Also, because I can't be moving around and lugging too much around because of this. Just had my final op. Can't see anything, so don't be squeamish. Had all the metal removed. Hopefully, operations now are done just gonna heal. Hence why I thought I'd make a, an easy standing here video that doesn't require too much effort. Just looking at you. That's right, just looking at you right there and talking, easy. So as always, if you did like the video, if you find it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe because it really does help me out. Hit the bell for get notified when I upload new videos and don't forget any other comments, questions or feedback in the comments box below. And um, that's it really. I'm going to go and take some painkillers and relax. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Put this chain on me, like they all hate on me. Don't bring that rage on me. Why they throwing shade on me?